On an all new episode of Turnaround Steering, we'll talk about a young man on this video that tries to go out with a nice young lady, but has to deal with her three children. Don't miss an all new episode of Turnaround Steering, coming up next only on YouTube. It's stepdaddy season, or is he being played? Stay tuned for another all new episode of Turnaround Steering for the second season because we're going to dig deep into this video on why this man is dealing with a woman who's got three kids, but they got to all have a date with him. And later, I'll give you a theoretical thought at the end of this broadcast. So, fellas, y'all know my saying and y'all know the drill. Grab a snack and come on back because y'all just might learn something. Roll that intro. <laughs> What is up, everybody? Again, it's your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tenacious T. And welcome back to another all-new episode of Turnaround Theory right here on my YouTube channel, where I give you a theoretical thought on uh, just about anything. Hey, listen, if you are new to my channel, I personally want to welcome you. And if you are, in fact, a returning subscriber, welcome back. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would be beneficial for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you, my friends, will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. And by the way, for the start of this second season, I want to remind you guys to please use the hashtag Team Turnaround and let me know that you are watching this video and I might just give you a shout out right back. If you want to follow me on all social media sites, links will be provided in the description box below. You can check out my official website, which will also be provided in the link in the description box below. And if you want to contribute to my YouTube channel, there's also a link for that in the description box below for PayPal. So with that being said and all of that's out the way, let's continue on and let's get started with today's episode of Turnaround Theory. Now I want you to take a look at this particular video right here and zero in on it. Because at the end of this broadcast, I will give you guys a theoretical thought pertaining to this particular episode. I want you to watch this video about a young man who decides to take this young lady out for a dinner, but she's also got a child in her Wait, no, not one, not two, but three children. The things that these modern women would do to try to reap the benefits of a man who gets his hard earned money. Watch the video and I'm gonna come right back. And so I'm supposed to pay for your food and the kid food. Yes, what you want, baby? You want steak? Steak? Yes. Oh, yeah, you're going on the ground. Why? Why? Why you got your child with us, though? It wasn't part of the plan. This is part of the plan. It's not part of the plan. If you want to date me, you date my child, too. I'm dating your child, too? Yes. Oh, you wigged out. You wigged out. That wasn't part. We supposed to eat our food. Afterwards, go back to the crib. Next, I can't live. Oh. First of all, we don't have to do it. Come on, we're going out. Yeah, we, we ain't doing this. I ain't even got the... Man, y'all tripping, bro. Y'all thought I was finna do that? Man, y'all tripping. You shit that. Yeah, let me... Let me get up out of here. <laughs> let me get up out of here. Let me, I'm, I'm gonna hold it up for you, though. I ain't gonna do you like that. I ain't gonna do y'all like that, but you know, that wasn't part of the plan. That wasn't part of the plan. I'm with both of y'all. I don't even know you for real. See, that's why I can't be dating... I can't be dating for real, cause ain't no telling what's really going on. Yeah, you on, you on my page. You on my page. You on my page. Damn! I already got kids, baby. I ain't no stepdaddy. Hey, tell me, I ain't no stepdaddy. Oh, stepdaddy season. Man, look, listen up. I can't afford. Look, look what you got on. Look what, man. Come on, man. You can't even afford the baby real clothes. Straight facts. Look at the baby. Y'all tripping, man. Look, go to your car. I ain't got time. Bro, you just got played by a woman with three kids. And she too extra for you. I'm not paying for you and the girl, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Y'all go back to the crib. You know what I mean? No. The plan was, like I said from the jump, 
Nick, please. Oh, how, how, how many of them? For the girl I right there, though. I'm not doing it. I'm not stepdaddy. What I tell you? No, nah, you can go buy your own steak. Go on and get your own steak. Damn! Go on, why are you following me? No, you can't get nothing, baby. You can get in the car and put the gas in the car and get to the crib. The bread is free. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You can go to the car. Go to the car. Yeah, go to the car. Nah, ain't that some But wait, there's more. You finally leave. Look, she fine. Oh, we gonna follow you. Make sure you get to the car. No, I'm following you now. Look, get to the car. Nope, get to your car. You going on my gram. You going viral today. You going viral. You going viral. Yeah, yeah, get in the car. I ain't even play with you, bro. I'm waiting on my Uber anyway. You big cold-blooded dummy. What? What? You got more kids? Yeah. You got more kids. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Nah, you got more kids too? What they gonna do? Eat some bread too? <laughs> nah, bro, you tripping. And, and you talking about some steak? You got how many kids in there? Oh, you got three of oh. them. Anyway, we can't afford it. Yeah, y'all can afford the cart that y'all in and get, 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 get gone. <laughs> get gone. <Yeah. laughs> Where my Uber at? I've been waiting on this Uber for 30 minutes already. Y'all tripping. Are you nuts? Let me go across the street. She ain't gonna even follow me. She got three more kids. Oh, hell no! And i go even a little further by saying, oh, hell to the no, no. Don't go away because when I come right back, I'll give you a theoretical thought right after this. I just watched a video of a mother pull her pants down in her thong and twerk in front of her five kids, several of those kids being little boys. Call CPS now immediately i'm so tired of y'all <laughs> i'm so tired of y'all when i tell you when i say that these new little boys who being raised by these 304s are going to be some of the most disrespectful young men that you've ever seen y'all see the uprise in the unalive and the black girls by the hands of their black boyfriends if y'all think that that's by coincidence it's not those are more than likely boys who was raised by 304s you can hear me now believe me later those were boys who was raised by 304s, boys who don't respect women and they don't respect their mama. She was the first woman that they decided that they didn't respect. I don't know when y'all are going to connect the dots, but I don't think y'all going to connect it until it's too late. I don't know how you don't see the pipeline of young boy with 304 mother who does not respect mother goes on to hate women and end up unaliving or hurting girlfriend, having DV on girlfriends. Like, I don't know when y'all going to see it. One day y'all gonna wake up and realize that this is a real thing. I guess it'll be the same time that these men wake up and they stop just getting anybody pregnant because I blame a lot of y'all men. I blame you for not protecting your seed enough to put it in the hands of these negligent women. You out here creating mothers out of women who shouldn't be out here raising dogs. This behavior is completely unacceptable and I'm sad for those kids. I just watched a video of Jacqueline talking about the over-sexualization of black children, and it's truly sad to continue to keep watching. Y'all expose these black kids to too much too soon. They don't need to know about half the stuff they know about. They don't need to be exposed to the stuff that they're being exposed to. I'm so tired of hearing about kids who have been sexually abused as children. We should be so far past that by this point that we should be protecting those kids so much that we shouldn't be hearing about these stories so often. But we still are. You know why? Because y'all don't care about these kids. The fact that so many adults have dealt with sexual abuse as a child and still haven't done no better in protecting their own child from the same thing happening to them is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting to go through it yourself and not do a better job at protecting your child from it, exposing your children to all of this sexual deviant behavior. It's unacceptable. When are y'all going to wake up? Because we're tired of preaching people, especially me. I don't even have no kids, but I'm tired of watching y'all abuse the ones that's here. And now, turnaround's theoretical thought. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know what time it is. This is my favorite part of the segment and what I like to call turnaround theoretical thought, where I'm about to give you a theoretical thought about stepdaddy season. Here's your theoretical thought for the day. Fellas, if you're dating a woman who's a single mom and has however many kids she's got, avoid them at all costs because they're going to make you cough up a bag and make you pay child support. Don't deal with them. They're not your type. Find you a woman that has no kids and build a family of your own. Don't raise another man's child or however many children he's got. Because them pookies and ray rays that come around them, they're going to be the ones that's going to be in their child's life. And if you expect to deal with a woman that's a single mom that's got however many kids she's got with her baby daddy, run. And I say run as fast as you can. Get the hell out of there. Avoid these type of women at all costs. Do not stick around because the potential baby daddy that's going to be around, you're going to end up paying his child support for the child. You need your own family. Get you a real woman that doesn't have any kids. I mean, good luck. That's your theoretical thought for today. Hey, listen, I want to thank you for watching another fascinating episode of Turnaround Theory. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm going to need at least 30 more subscribers to subscribe to my official YouTube channel, to get to a road to the first 1,000 subscribers to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're almost getting close, but I need 30 more subscribers, and that might seal the deal. Listen, a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would help out, and it would be beneficial to my YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell, because you, my friends, will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. Here's a look at a sneak peek for this season of Turnaround Theory. And until next time, I'm your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Genesis T, saying, Team Turnaround out. This season on Turnaround Theory. This girl had a complete meltdown because her ex-boyfriend wouldn't take her back. I don't want to do this if I don't have you, please. Please, Stop, record please. me, I don't care. Record me, I don't care. And so I'm supposed to pay for your food and the kid food. Baby, you want steak? Steak? Yes. Oh yeah, you're going on the ground. Why? Why? Why you got your child with us though? It wasn't part of the plan. This is part of the plan. It's not part of the plan. If you want to date me, you date my child. This is for my lawyers. Um, we've been together for five years and I found out that she's been cheating for the last seven months. And so now what I want to do is I want to confront her and ask her if she's been cheating with me. I want her to be up front with me. If she's not, marriage is over. That's it. I'm done. My wife just got a bank statement in the mail that I don't know nothing about. I got to work two jobs, about $20,000, knowing we're struggling, man. Why do I got a bank statement in the mail uh, uh, with an account that I don't know nothing about? First of all, don't come in here yelling at me about no account. I have an account to make sure I'm good. That's why the account is there. Why are you taking money out of account while I don't know? You are my husband. I have to make sure I'm good. I'm not. If we uh, were to ever get divorced, I'm not about to be out here with nothing. We got to make sure we good. You this don't got nothing to do with you sitting taking money out of account that I work hard for. Do you not work for us? Are we not a family? I literally just paid this high ass bill. Yeah. Almost 500 some dollars and you ain't trying to sleep with me? Like, are you serious? No, I'm not finna sleep with you. But you like, mean you're not finna sleep with me? It's my birthday. That's the least you can do. That's what I'm saying, it's bro. Your ass you tripping, bro. I just paid this high ass bill, dog. You told me to bring me and my friends. Listen, listen. I, I, listen, I can't do this, dog. I can't believe this. Well, this bill's almost 500 dollars. You ain't finna go home told, with me? You not finna go home with me? You not finna go home with me, bro. I can't believe this, bro. I swear to God, that's That's embarrassing, bro. Ain't no gay best friend. Yes, you it is. What are you phone? talking no. about? Hell no. Right. Hell no. You good. Oh, no. hey. Cuz, hey, lock the door and pop the trunk, bro. Let me no, 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 no. Let me call this Let me call this bro. No, cuz. Oh, you getting out. It's your shit. All that and much more coming up this season on Turnaround Theory.